Yo! Ha! Hell on news! Shelling up. No? It's June, it's not July. It's happening! Marketing, it's Halo Infinite! Ah! <laughs> wow, honestly, I never thought I would even see this day. It just felt like it was never going to happen. The dry spell of Halo news is now finally over. For those of us who do not follow the official Halo accounts on Twitter, go there right now and do it because they've just shared this following clip. So sit back, relax, and give it a listen. Occupy the ring. Within hours, it will be under our control. Humanity will burn. Their brazen defiance will be all but a memory. No more prophets. No more lies. We stand together, brothers to the end. We are his will. We are his legacy. We are the banished. All right, so first and foremost, three words. Wow, wow. And wow, I'm not going to milk this video for what it's worth, but it absolutely confirms that the Banished are in Halo Infinite. There might be some out there that say, well, Fletch, it could be an extension of Halo Wars 2 or something related in that manner, but nah, absolutely not. That's dead in the water now, and we're all going ahead for Halo Infinite's marketing. Now, there are a few things I want to cover about this clip. First of all, that it's not Atriox. It sounds more like Pavium or something like that. Or at least it's definitely a different voice. With the way he's speaking, it sounds like he's speaking about Atriox towards the end when we say we are his legacy. Now that's the first thing I actually do want to break down about this clip. Automatically I assumed yes, he's talking about Atriox's legacy as the leader of the Banished, but is this truly the case? I think that's the most likely option, but at the same time he could be on about somebody else, a greater legacy, and the beliefs that the Banished may hold. I'm going to go out on a whim here, just blind speculation, and I'm not saying this is the case, but could the Banished have faith in the Didact? I know they are more mercenaries as character types, but at the same time they still might he might be alive, we know that there is the odd chance he could be. So it could be his legacy. The detection sound at the start also sounded much like the Didax pulse from Halo 4, but personally I do think I could be grabbing at straws there, who knows. In terms of the events of what's happening, it's clear that the Banished are planning the attack on the Halo ring as we saw on the Discover Hope trailer. So it's safe to say that this is before the Discover Hope trailer, which is the first cutscene for Halo Infinite's campaign. Just simply due to all the heavy damage that it has got on the ring, and obviously something's definitely gone down. It does also seem like there is a lot of conviction in this brute's voice. He seems so confident. One thing I've debated with myself for a while is whether or not the Banished will join Cortana. It's pretty much against everything they believe, taking control over the galaxy. But how can they be so confident on an assault on a Halo ring? Well, we all know that the creative forces are likely on their tail if they are not partnered with them. Personally, I think it's not likely, but I'm still at odds with this theory. But let me know in the comments what you think, but I personally believe that the likely outcome is that if a small pelican cannot get away from being detected from Cortana as we see in the Discover Hope trailer, then why would an entire fleet of brutes be able to do the exact same thing and fly under the radar? Am I missing something? Do they have some technology I do not know about? Is this something to do with the technology that's on reach that they're trying to get hold of when it comes to Halsey's lab in the book Shadow? of reach. It's also one other thing I would like to speak of when he says humanity will burn. Listen very carefully to the background noises being made by the brute. Humanity will burn. There's a flood-like sounding grunt in the voice clip. To me, it sounds like he's struggling with being infected all of a sudden. But again, it could be me just looking too much into it and it could be some distortion. 
It could just be gassy, who knows? It might be having one of those days. So don't take that for gospel, but it's certainly not outside of the realm of possibility, especially if he's actually on Zeta Halo, which he does make mention to. Next up, what in the world is their intent? He says, debris and defiance will all be but a memory. Are they planning on activating the ring? Why in the world would they want to do this? And do they have anything that could save them or safeguard them from the firing of the Halo Array? He also says we stand together brothers until the end, but the end of what exactly? That is the huge question. The last thing I want to discuss is who is receiving this transmission exactly. It's clearly the UNSC by design, especially with the logo at the bottom right, but then it turns red in the transmission when it identifies it as the banished. But is this the UNSC Infinity, the Spirit of Fire, the Master Chief, Brohammer? But also notice there is a crack on the left hand side. I do not think it's anything too specific, but I think it's meant to reaffirm that humanity's backs are up against the wall at the moment, as I've mentioned in many videos in the past with books such as Halo Bad Blood, which illustrate that very well. In my personal opinion, I'm extremely happy that the Banished are coming back to Halo. I absolutely love them in Halo Wars 2. I thought the Banished were great in terms of gameplay, the designs, and Aatrox is a fantastic enemy to fight against. I do really feel terror against him, I feel like he can do damage, he's got a certain scariness and conviction about him. I've said this for a while, and we know that the Mega Bloks leaks have been an indicator of it, I'm just kind of glad that it's now confirmed and out there. July is just around the corner for Halo Infinite news, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest Halo Infinite news and speculation. My name is Jack Fletcher, and I will see you next time on the one and the only Ultimate Halo. Subscribe now to Ultimate Halo for more unfreaking believable Halo content.